Hey everyone, welcome to the Otoscope Excel video blog where I discuss my favorite Excel tips, tricks, and hacks. Today we're going to use the SUMIFS function to sum values with multiple criteria. I use this function whenever I need to sum values within an arbitrary date range. My example relates to an online store. I'm working on an advertising campaign and I've tested out four different banner ads. I tested each one out for 15 days and I want to see which one drove the most sales. The data I'm working with are sales transactions in the next tab. For each transaction, I've got the date, the quantity, which is always one to keep things simple, and the sales price, which is always $10. Great, coming back to the first tab, I want to sum the transactions in each time period to figure out which banner ad is the best. I need to use the SUMIFS formula to do this because I need to sum with two criteria, namely that one, the transaction occurs on or after the date start, and two, the transaction occurs on or before the date end. Before I actually implement this, it'll be easier to follow if I name my ranges in the Sales Data tab. I'll name the dates in column A as Dates, and the sales price in column C as Sales underscore Price. Cool, let's write out the formula. Equals some ifs. The first parameter is what do you want to sum? That's the sales price for each transaction. The next parameter is the first range you're going to apply logic to, that's dates. And then you're going to enter the criterion or logic you want to use on the dates. We want to say greater than or equal to the date in cell B2, the start date. Be careful with the syntax here. You need to say greater than or equals to in quotes, and then insert your and operator, and then the cell reference, B2. Then we're going to enter the second range we're going to apply logic to. That happens to be dates again. Next the criterion or logic we're going to use on the dates. Now we're going to say less than or equal to the date in cell C2, the end date. Close it out, and it shows the sum of sales prices for that date range, $1,720. Awesome. You can drag this formula down and see that banner ad 1 is the winner. And that's all for this episode. Thanks everyone for watching, and as always, I'd love to see your comments and questions on the blog.